a range of companies are looking at how to close the skills gap and train the next generation of workers, transforming education so it's no longer a one-time event, but a lifelong process. And two companies previously included on CNBC's Disruptor 50 list are leading the charge. Coursera is partnered with 150 universities around the world, offering a broad array of 2,000 courses and professional certificates and digital degrees to mid-career adults looking to get better jobs. The company also provides custom training for companies, including IBM, L'Oreal, and BCG, looking to advance their employees. You think there's a, there's a real opportunity by giving people the opportunity to acquire new and better skills in computer-related fields, in data science, and across the range of business skills and even soft skills. To, uh, these things are needed everywhere. While Coursera offers a range of topics, Udacity is focused on the tech sector, with 25,000 students enrolled in one of its nano degree programs on topics including robotics, digital marketing, and self-driving cars. These programs are tailored to Udacity's 50-plus hiring partners, including Amazon and Google. Udacity's target demographic are people between the age of 25 and 35 who are looking to make a change in their career. We would work with industry to identify, for instance, the skills needed to be a data scientist or an Android developer. In the case of Android, we work with Google specifically to come up with the curriculum. So industry kind of drives the skills we teach. Udacity uses technology across its service. When students submit a project, a software platform accesses talent from all over the world to grade the project and provides detailed feedback, typically within 90 minutes. Udacity says it's leveraging big data and a global community to educate the global workforce of tomorrow. For CNBC, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.